So you filled out your unit circle, and now I'm going to tell you to ignore it because unit circles can become a crutch, but I want you to notice the patterns on the unit circle so that we can use them over and over and over again. And so the first thing I do every time I, I'm asked, find the sine of 120. First thing I'm going to do is draw a picture. 120 is 30 degrees past 90, and so I'm going to emphasize that. So this is 120. I'm going to deal with this being my reference angle. Now, it's the 30, 60, 90. And so the short side with the 30, 60, 90, remember that you have numbers 1 half, square root of 2 over 2, and square root of 3 over 2. We have to know that the 1 half is the shortest it can get. And the root 3 over 2 is the long side. And this one, the root 2 over 2, is right in the middle, and that's used for the 45 degree angles. And so, short side is 1 half. And because we've gone to the left, it's a negative 1 half because your x is negative. Your y value is the long one, root 3 over 2. And that's why I overemphasized that it was this side is the long side. The sine is the opposite over your radius of 1, and so that's the y value. And so the sine of 120 is square root of 3 over 2. Cosine is 675. Now, 360 is one time around, and so you can already tell that you've gone around more than once. And so if you subtract 360 from this, you know it's coterminal with um, 315. And so 315 goes almost all the way around, but because it ends with that 5, you can know that it's the 45 degrees less than 360. And so because we're dealing with the 45, you know that you're dealing with when the sides are the same, or root 2 over 2 and root 2 over 2. Because we've gone down here, the y value is going to be negative. The cosine is the x value. And so it's the adjacent. I'm dealing with the adjacent side, and so I'm saying this is root 2 over 2. Why don't you guys try the rest of these and then check your answer at the end to see if see how you did? No, seriously, hit pause. Try them out. Follow these instructions. Same thing we've done. Notice the negative 150. And so I'm going to go around this way and say this is my angle. 30, 60, 90 again, because we're 30 degrees before you hit the 180 mark. And so this is going to be the short side, and this is going to be the long side. Short side, 1 half. We've gone down, so it's negative. Square root of 3 over 2, we've gone to the left. So it's negative. The tangent is the ratio, the opposite over your hypotenuse. Sorry, opposite over adjacent, y over x. And so we have 1 half over square root of 3 over 2. Both of them negative. Negative divided by negative is going to be a positive. And so how we do that is we multiply by the reciprocal. 2 over square root of 3. The 2's cancel. You get 1 over square root of 3. And you multiply by root 3 over root 3 to rationalize. And the final answer is square root of 3 over 3 is the tangent of negative 150. All right, now dealing with them in radians. These are going to be a little trickier as we get used to radians. But what I think of is if I had 4 pi over 4, that would be pi. And so 5 pi over 4 I recognize as a 45 degree angle, and it's 1 45 degree angle past 1 extra pi over 4. And so we have root 2 over 2 and a negative 1, and root 2 over 2 and a negative 1. Cosecant is the reciprocal of the y value. 
because it's the sine C and the S go together. Um, and so it's the reciprocal of 2, root 2 over 2, so it's 2 over root 2. And this is the product of our rationalizing already, and so if you rationalize this again, you're going to get negative 2 root 2 over 2. And so negative root 2 is the cosecant. Now we're dealing with 7 pi. 7 pi, so 2 pi is one time around. 4 pi, 6 pi, and 7 pi is going to be 180 all the way around. So we've gone 1, 2, 3 and a half times around. And so we're dealing with it straight across. This is negative 1, comma, 0. Cotangent is the x over the y. The x value, which is negative 1, over the y value. And so this is undefined. And negative 11 pi over 6. Negative, so I'm going in the opposite direction. 12 pi over 6, if you think in pi over 6 is 12 pi over 6 would be pi over 2. Sorry, would be 2 pi. And so I'm going almost all the way around. Pi over 6s are the smallest angle, the 30 degree angle. I'm emphasizing this. It doesn't quite look at 30 degrees. But I'm doing that so I can tell that the short side is over here and the long side is right here. Secant. I'm dealing with the x value because this is the reciprocal of the cosine, the adjacent side. And so I'm dealing with 1 over the x, or the reciprocal of the x, 2 over square root of 3. And so I'm going to multiply by root 3 over root 3. I get 2 root 3 over 3. All right, those that went on, go ahead and check your answers. You got negative root 2. Got that it was undefined. 2 root 3 over 3, and then the root 3 over 3. So without using a calculator, decide whether the equation is true or false. Is the cosine of 160 equal to the negative cosine of 20? So cosine of 160, that's over here. and the cosine of 20 is over here. Remember the cosine is dealing with the x values. And so is the x value of this one, which is positive x, the same as this one, which is a negative x? Notice that if we made this x value negative, it would be the exact same thing as this one. Because this is 20 degrees, as is this one, because it's 20 degrees less than 180. And so this is true. See if you can figure out the rest of these. Pause the video, and then I'll fill you in, or you can check your answer. Seven pi over four is one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven pi over four, which is almost all the way around to eight pi over four. Is that the same as three pi over four, which is almost to four pi over four pi? And so what we're talking about is this the same y value? It's the over 4s, and so your y values are your root 2 over 2s and stuff. And so you could think about it that way. Or you notice that this is pi over 4, and this is pi over 4, your reference angle in a sense. And so your triangles are the exact same, but are the signs the exact same? You got y over x, y over x. This is a positive and a negative x. This is a negative and a positive. Negative y divided by x equals y divided by negative x. And so it's true. Same exact deal. Sine of pi over 3. Pi over 3 is that 60 degree angle. Is that the same as the cosine of 5 pi over 6?
notice that this is your 60 and your y value, so that's root 3 over 2. Your cosine is the x value, and that's negative root 3 over 2. And so where this is positive, this is negative, and so that is false. It's very, very close, but one's positive, one's negative. Cosine of 300. That's almost all the way around. And cosine of 60 is up here. Remember, we're dealing with the x values for cosine. So the x value up top, this, is the same as the x value for the one on the bottom. And so this is true. Same x values. Write the cosine of 200 as a function of an acute angle. Acute meaning less than 90 degrees. And so what cosine... So cosine of 200, that's going past 180, like that. And so how much past 180? Well, it's 20 degrees past 180. And so that's the x value at 20 degrees. So let's deal with the, um, we have two options. I'm going to deal with the one that looks like this, where it's the x value going the other way. Now this x value is negative, where this x value is going to be positive. And so whatever it's going to be, cosine of 200 is going to be equal to if I change the sign of this other one and just used regular 20 degrees. Now you could also deal with it as the sine value of something. Uh, where the cosine was this positive one and if we made it negative it would be the same as this one. If we went to the complementary angle in the same way that we did here and just flip your triangle over, then your sine value is going to be the same. Sine of 70 degrees. Remember I got 70 from 90 minus 20. And so same deal here, we could have gone to the sine of negative 70. You don't need both of these, it was just a different way of thinking about it.